Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to be talking about either going as a game developer or as a software developer. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dilmer and I've been making games and apps for the last five to six years. And now I'm actually making videos about my experiences. I love doing this. I love working on games. I think making games is the most fascinating thing in the world. So the question that I get most of the time is, you know, from, and especially from people that are really starting out and they're debating whether to go to software or to actually make games. And there's, there's huge differences between the two, not only, you know, in what you're actually doing, but actually in salary. So the, the reason why I didn't become an indie game developer is because I was already a software game developer. I didn't really know that I wanted to make games until much later. So. I think it took me about three years where I was doing, you know, software development. I was focusing on that. I was doing, you know, a lot of back-end development, a lot of front-end development. And then, you know, one day I wanted to try something with Unity. I think I saw Unity from a friend that recommended it to me. And I tried a prototype. I created a, you know, it was a, a little Stickman world, which is a game that I actually did and a stickman game and i you know i actually was able to bring something from an idea to to completion and, and that thing to me it's it's very to me it was very successful like i i love you know taking an idea and then shipping that idea so so then you know after having that experience of of you know the indie game industry without actually doing too much of that I realized that I actually wanted to make more games that I wanted to make applications. So I'm still doing both. I, you know, during the day I'm focusing on making, you know, making applications and I also make macOS apps and then a lot of, a lot of different things in that world. But, I'll, but I'm also doing a lot of games. I'm, I'm currently working on an augmented reality game. I'm working on, you know, some other, some other prototypes that I have in my head. So, so the, the question is, Dilma, should I go, you know, should I go one route or should I go to another route? And, and to answer your question, it depends on what you want to do in life. I mean, if you want to become a software developer and that's, you know, that's what you're passionate about, you know, do that. But at the same time, try to do games if you can. Making games is, is fascinating to me. And I, I honestly didn't know I wanted to make games and, and yeah, when we're kids, we want to make games because we play these cool games and, and you know, we get passionate about that kind of stuff, but we don't really know what is required until you do it. So that's what happened to me. I actually started making games and while I was making software and I fell in love with it because I, I fell in love with the creativity process that goes into making a game. I fell in love with all the different pieces that, you know, are required to put a game together. I didn't know how complicated it was until I jump into it. And now I'm, I'm like, I'm super motivated about working on games. I wanna do it most of the time. The other thing that I also wanted to cover is, is salary. So if you're, you know, if you're a software game developer right now, and especially in the United States, you're, you're looking at about, you know, from 70,000 to 160,000 uh, dollars a year. So if you, you know, and that's more of the business side applications. If you're doing like mobile development, if you're doing OSX development, iOS development, Android development, you're looking about, you know, in that range from a junior level all the way to a senior level. And if you, if you're thinking about, you know, becoming a, a full game developer, the the salaries are, are actually much lower than that. Uh, and there might be some, you know, some companies that pay more than others. But what I've seen, I've seen, you know, salaries from 50,000 all the way through 70,000. I, I really haven't seen anything that is that is getting to 80, 90 thousand dollars a year. So, so that's what you got to think about. It's the salary aspect of it as a as a game developer. If the salary is not important to you and you want to do it, you I think that that amount is fine to you. Then then go for it. But if you you know if you get paid much more than that throughout your career then jumping into game development might not be the option for you. If that's the case, then you can do something different. And, and this is the thing that, I, that I've been doing is I've been doing, you know, the, the software development on the side. And also at the same time, I'm doing, it, uh, I'm doing a game development project. So that's what I've been doing for the, for the last few years. And that actually works really well because you can take some of the knowledge that you're getting from from one to the other, or one on the knowledge that you're getting as a software developer, 
to the game developer scene. So that works really well, and, and I actually get, I really love doing a little bit of both. And my, my long-term strategy is to actually do more game development that I do software development, but in the meantime, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So if you have any questions about this topic or anything else that I just mentioned, let me know through the comments, let me know through social media, connect to me through Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you guys.